if you're watching this later, you can uh, skip ahead about mm, four minutes or so, five minutes or so. Glad to have those that are there. Um, I, I don't know because I'm driving, so I'm not reading them. <laughs> uh, I was running a little bit behind this morning, so I'm not quite to the office. Uh, I'll be there in just a minute, and then we can wrap this up. So, get it going. Good morning to all those who are on there. When I get uh, when I get up here parked, I'll uh, read all your comments. So go ahead and tell me any prayer requests you have going on. Um, anything that's on your heart, anything God's teaching you, maybe a good worship song you're listening to. Uh, those in Coleman can tell me about how church went. Uh, I heard Dustin tore it up. In fact, uh, somebody told me he took it to another level. So um, I thought that was pretty good. So um, I, I haven't listened to the message yet, but I'm excited to go back and, and listen. So It's going to be a good one this morning, I think. I'm excited for it. Like I said, I'm almost almost to work, and then I'll be chiming in on y'all's comments. So go ahead and post any prayer requests you got, and we will pray at the end of this thing. <laughs> we had a, a good time at Hartzell. Uh, excited about what God's doing there, too. I uh, preached three services with a crummy throat, but um, you know the Lord was gracious, and we pulled it off. We had Klondike bars. I may have had more than one. Um, I'll just let you guys decide whether you think that's true. Uh, <laughs> and I know y'all had Steel City Pops in Coleman, and I believe there were a few saved from myself and my wife. Uh, so I'm excited to hit those up. Uh, go Steel City Pops. Man, if you've never had a Steel City Pop, you need to look them up. They're gourmet popsicles, and they are delicious. Um, so I'm looking forward to... Uh, having that life changing experience again. Um, go ahead and chime in. Good morning to everyone on there. Again, I'm not reading comments just yet. When I get stopped here uh, at my office, I will. There's a couple minutes behind here, but I didn't want to wait to start the live feed. So you got me driving. I, 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 well, okay. Well, I'm trying hard not to read the comments because that wouldn't be safe. But I catch him sometimes when I look over there. Um, and I saw where Austin said that he thought I was speeding. So, um, technically, yes, I was. Just a little bit. I shouldn't have been. Um, it, I'm on 6th. I'm on and so that was... Um, I was going 45 in a 40. So, I'm living on the edge. <laughs> so... I generally try not to speed, but sometimes it happens, you know, just, just on accident, especially on roads where you feel like you should be able to drive a little bit faster, so. Call Kane, tell him. That mug ain't gonna catch me before I get to my office. If y'all don't know, Kane's a friend of ours who's a uh, police officer. I don't know why I keep reading Austin's comments. I shouldn't be reading any comments. For those who think I'm being very dangerous, I'm not, I'm being very safe. Try not to read y'all's comments. I'm keeping a good, safe distance from the car in front of me. There you go. See, driving nice and safe. <laughs> Any prayer requests? Anything? Drop in. Go ahead. Hey, another thing. Go ahead and start sharing the video now. Um, and, and that way, because uh, if you wait till I say something good to share it, then everybody's missing out on the good things that I said. I'm stopped now at a light, so. Now I can kind of look, but, um, the, um, so, so go ahead and share it now. Um, let's get the word out, get people on here, uh, cause the devotion's going to start in about a minute and a half when I, I roll up at the office here. So, um, y'all are having a good morning. Again, drop in your prayer requests. I'm excited about this morning, man. I got a one I feel is pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, everything from the Bible is pretty good, right? I mean, like, that's one of the things I love about this one-year Bible reading plan is it kind of, actually, I personally, me personally, like, just my natural mode is to read the Bible straight through, you know, from cover to cover. 
Uh, but I really have enjoyed this Bible reading plan because because it breaks it up, and you're you're reading um, Old Testament, New Testament, Psalms, uh, and Proverbs every day. Uh, it actually it keeps it fresh, you know, because um, if you're if you're in one area, you're stuck in what might be considered a more religious text, or you know, kind of formal, or you know, I hate to say boring, but you know, that kind of text that's harder to read. Um, well, then, that's a uh, a. Uh, the, 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 you know your New Testament passage or your other passage may be real really life giving. So, um, and we talked the other day. Remember about finding where the life is. Do that, man. If it's in prayer that morning, do it in prayer. If it's on this devotion, man, do that. Uh, whatever it is, do that. So we're about to get started in about mm, thirty seconds. So, if you haven't shared it, share it, share it, share it. Good morning to everybody who's on there. Again, share, share, share the video. Let's get it going around um, before the devotion starts. I apologize that I'm, I'm running behind. We had a really long weekend, so um, I didn't get out the door on time. All right. I'm pulling in now. All right, let me go through and read some of these comments since I haven't been on here. All right, and make sure you share because we're about to get started. We're going to go from uh, John chapter 1 again today. So, good morning, Robbie. I see your comment on there. Good morning, everybody who's on here. Um, Jill, Corey, Austin, Melinda, see you on there. Give me just a second to scroll through these comments. The Facebook app's being weird. All right. Missed you too yesterday, Robbie. Sonny Givens, love you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Brandon Lynch, love you, man. Pete Dawson, man, you are the man. Uh, Stephanie Peterson, I love you. You need to comment uh, comment on here, Stephanie, because you're you're a brilliant person, and we need your wisdom. Austin, don't be shaking your head. Curtis, love you. Love you. Good morning, Danielle. I may have missed some people. Sa Sandra, love you. Susan, love you. Um, public prayer request for a friend who's going through a rough time. I will. I would definitely agree with him. Justin Joyner, man, love you. Jennifer Riddle, love you. You know I love you. Austin, I already commented on your uh, accusations. Margaret, I love you. Love the whole Pennington bunch. All right, Terry Parker, man, love you. Michelle Ivy, love you guys. Thanks for being on here. If you haven't shared, share. Um, and I'm going to uh, hopefully, I think that's catching up now to you guys. Chris Atkinson is on. I love Chris Atkinson. Megan Smith, man, I need to come see you and your husband. Y'all are awesome. I need to come vacation down in Florida. Brittany, glad you're on this morning. Hate that I missed small group. All right, here we go. Um, let's get started. It's from um, our, our scripture today is from John chapter 1. And it's really, if, if you haven't read that chapter, um, go ahead and read it. And again, I'm reading the New Living, Tra uh, New Living Translation this year and um, NLT. And the Bible reading plan is the one-year Bible reading plan. So you can look it up on the Bible app. Just go to one-year Bible, you know, um, Bible app and search for one-year Bible, the actual one-year Bible. So uh, make sure you get you know that right one because there's a lot of Bible in a year type things. Anyway, and then or you can go to chrispettit.org and I'll, um, if you click on any of the devotions there, it's got the links um, there. So um, the um, let's see. Oh, so uh, here's the story from John chapter one. Right? It's really exciting. It, John gives you some background details about the disciples and kind of how they came about um, that, that you don't see in other. Um, books of the Bible, any of the other Gospels. And so um, at the end of John chapter 1, we see him kind of rounding out his team and, and picking up some folks. And, and it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny stuff that, that's said. And, uh, and you find out some details. Like Andrew was actually serving Jesus before Peter was. And he went and got Peter and said, no, I found the Messiah. You need to come. You know, like we got this guy now. Um, a lot of great details in here. But here's the verse um, that I want to pull from. Um, it is, give me just a second, it may, I believe it's verse 48, give me just a second to pull it up, it's, um, it's either 46 or 48, sorry, 
Uh, I'm a little discombobulated this morning. But basically what it says is um, Philip has gone to find Nathaniel. Okay? Um, I may have disconnected for a second. Y'all still there? You got me? Um, Y'all shoot me. Angela Schaefer, glad you're on. Okay, now I'm seeing the likes and stuff. Good. All right. Um, the, um, so the, uh, so Nathaniel actually says, Jesus says to him, um, hey, look, when Nathaniel walks up, this is really funny, all right? Nathaniel walks up and he says, um, you know, you're, you're a, uh, an Israelite without deceit, you know, like here's a guy who's got it going on and, uh, and, and Nathaniel doesn't like get sheepish or anything. You know what he says to Jesus? He says, how do you know me? Like, you're right, I've got it going on. How'd you know that, you know? And it's this really funny exchange between Nathaniel and, and Jesus. And, and the great thing is you don't hear a lot about Nathaniel in the Bible, and so it makes it, um, kind of gives you a little bit of humanity, um, tells a little backstory right now. Um, Nathaniel and says, hey, you know, um, what's the deal here, you know? Uh, the, um, or, or Philip says, hey, we've got, we found the Messiah, right? We found this guy. Um, it's Jesus of Nazareth. And Philip says, uh, or Nathaniel says, uh, and this is verse 46, he says, Nazareth, Philip exclaimed, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And then Philip says to him, come and see. Come and see. He says, Nazareth, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And, and then Philip says, come and see. Now, here's the two things I want you to get. The first one this morning is God delights. He absolutely delights in using people um, and things that are from places that people never expected, that people don't think is good enough, that people um, discounted. Uh, so if you're feeling down and out today, can I tell you something especially awesome? That uh, God, not only can God use you, but God wants to use you. Like you're a prime suspect for God to work in your life. Uh, in fact, the Bible says that God will use uh, you know, the foolish things of the world, the things the world considers foolish, right? To confound the wise. God's not looking, uh, for more high profile preachers, uh, you know, uh, more people who look good in spandex. No, God is looking for people, uh, who may be a little crazy like you are, right? He's looking for people that nobody ever expected to change the world. And God delight, like it's, it's kind of like his, his, um, um, it's kind of, it's his thing, right? Like God, that's what, what makes him excited. It's, it's, um, it's, this is a weird word to use for God, but it's kind of God's fetish, if you will. God's fetish is, let me find somebody who, uh, my fetish is ice cream, okay? I eat ice cream like crazy, right? That's my my addiction. God's addiction, that may be a better word, God's addiction is to use broken people to bring light to the world. That's what God loves to do. He loves to grab people that nobody thought it was possible. Nobody believed it about them. They were going to, oh, at best, they're going to be a background person. And God says, no, guess what? I'm going to scoop you up uh, and, and use you like crazy. In fact, um, Andy Gerald's just jumped on. I love Andy and uh, Lindsey Camper. Love you too. Um, Andy, how you doing, buddy? Um, you, if you want to support a missionary who's doing some awesome stuff, one of my favorite guys in the world is Andy Gerls. Um, click on his Facebook page right there, send him a message, um, support him. You can support him $5 a month, $10 a month, $50 a month, um, however much you want to do. But I believe in that guy uh, so much so that I support him, um, financially, actually more than I support any of my other missionaries. Um, mostly just because he asked, but I, but also because I believe in him more than anything. Anyway, what I want to say about Andy is Andy is running a campus ministry uh, called Chi Alpha at Lamar University, who you know, is doing an amazing job there. But to be honest, even though Andy has always been a cool guy, right? He's always been fun to be around. He was a real quiet guy when we first met him. He was a background guy, a behind-the-scenes guy. Am I telling the truth, Andy? I mean, like, like never probably in his wildest dreams back when he was a, you know, a freshman in college and he just met these guys um, who came down to start a campus ministry. Did he ever think, one day I'm going to be running this campus ministry? You know what I'm saying? And God loves to take people that are unexpected, that uh, that don't don't have, you know, we do all these cool, cool things about gift finders and strength finders, and those are all great. They're all important. But God loves to bust up our leadership principles and use somebody nobody expected. Uh, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of your life? Can anything good come out of that person who, uh, man, they had addiction for years? Can anything good come out of them? The answer is always in God, yes. 
Yes, not only can it, but God expects it to happen. God's excited to make it happen. And so that's the first thing we're going to learn from this verse. And here's the second thing. Um, Philip has the right answer here. Come and see. What a powerful, powerful verse. Come and see. And that's really all God's asking us to do. Um, one, he's asking us to live the kind of life where, where we can allow him to use us to change the world, even when we're not qualified, uh, even when we're not special enough. Uh, hey, y'all comment in and hit me up with some likes if this is good stuff. Um, it's getting quiet in the chat. It makes me feel like nobody's connected. So chat in here, I've seen prayer requests. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, Philip says, come and see, come and see, right? Like he's inviting him in on the journey. And that's why inviting people to church or small group or whatever is so important, right? Um, can church really change my life? Yes. Come and see, come and see, come and see, look what it did in my life. Um, or you can, you don't even have to invite them to church, invite them to your life, you know, invite them to your small group, invite them to your house, let them see in your life what God is doing. Right. And, um, it, and it, it will make an impact in their world. And so, uh, the two things from this verse we're going to learn today, uh, and I want to challenge you with as you go out today is guess what this week God wants to use you. He doesn't want to just use your pastor. He doesn't want to just use the spiritual person you know that really loves God. That person really loves God. No, God wants to use the person nobody thought to win the people God thought uh, the people thought nobody could be won. You know, he um he 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 takes shepherd boys and makes them king. You know, he he um. He does all kind. He takes fishermen and makes them leaders of an international movement. Um, he takes tax collectors and and uh, makes them somebody who can write one of the most trusted accounts of the gospel ever. You know, uh, when he when he he was completely untrusted in his life as a tax collector. Uh, he takes a man who was murdering Christians, murdering Christians. I want you to get this. He was murdering Christians, and he's going to turn around and write. Um, a bulk of the New Testament that Christians for, you know, years and years and years are going to, hundreds, thousands of years are going to use. Um, God, God, you're not down, you know, if you're down and out, you feel broken, you feel uh, too messed up for God to use, it's quite the opposite. You're so messed up, God has to use you. He's like, man, I look at this one. If I do something through this guy, and I feel like that way in my life sometimes, like, God's up in heaven going, if I can do something through this guy, man, I'm really going to change the world because, because man, nobody's expecting that. And so, uh, um, there you go. And then, and then, uh, I'm going to tell people, come and see, man. Uh, in fact, a funny story and we'll wrap it up here. Um, we were at a, um, a conference at church in the Highlands this past week. And Chris Hodges told this story of when they were about three years old. If you're not familiar with Church of Highlands, you can look it up. It's an awesome church. It had 80,000 something people on Easter. That's crazy. Praise the Lord for that. Um, just a great church that's kind of paving the way for other churches and, and heavily involved in church planning and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, he, um, he was telling the story when they were about three years old. He almost gave up because um, they were growing so rapidly, especially with teenagers and stuff. And, and, uh, he said it, it was funny cause teenagers didn't want to go out and party on, on the weekends and they didn't want to, you know, have sex before they were married and all this different stuff. And it freaked the parents out because the parents weren't saved. And so they're kind of like, what's going on? And so this group came and looked at uh, watchdog came in, uh, locally watchdog or agency came in and, and, um, checked them out and then called them a cult and said that church of the Highlands was a cult and they lost, you know, hundreds of hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people because of it. And uh, he was so broken and he was praying. He said, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know what to tell people, you know, when they say, Hey, is all this stuff true? He said, cause you can't really defend yourself. The moment you start defending yourself, people think there's something to defend, right? You know, like, Hey, why, why are you, you know, de being so defensive, you know? So there's no really good answer. And he said he was praying and he heard the Lord speak to him very clearly. Um, tell them to come and see, you know, come to him, come see for you. Some people say, Hey, is all this trust stuff true? You just say, Hey, come and see. Why don't you come and see? And uh, became an amazing answer for him. They actually did a whole promotion saying, hey, come see the, the church everybody's talking about. You know, They were talking about it being a cult, but they were talking about it. And so um, that, that, it, Philip, um, or Philip had the, the best answer. You know, he, he wins the Bible card today. The best answer. Come and see, man. Um, we we want to get people so fired up about God, man. We said, or fired up about the possibility of God in their life. We just say, hey, come and see. Come and see. Man, why why do you go to church? Why is that? Why are you so pumped up about church? Why do you keep inviting me to church? You know what? Come and see. Come and see. You don't even have to explain it to him. Just come and see. Come and see for yourself. Why we love it so much. And uh, anyway, so that's the devotion for this morning. Um, not only are you uh, 
you know, can God use you if you're messed up? But God wants to, he wants to use you. He, he actually takes delight. That's his thing. That's God's thing. So, um, Robbie, definitely prayers for your daughter. I'll be praying for them. Uh, Michelle, prayers for your daughter. Um, okay, some paperwork to go through for Courtney. Love me some Courtney and her husband. He's a crazy man. Any other prayer requests I'm missing in here? I missed you too last night, Brittany. Missed all y'all. I don't think I'm missing any prayer requests before this. Um, Susan, Susan, I got your prayer request for your friend. Or just agree for breakthrough there. You're going through a rough, rough season. All right, let's see if I got anybody else here. Shiny Hedgecock, love you, love you, love you. Michelle Ivy, I believe in the underdog. That's right. Amen. All right, so let's pray. I got uh, Robbie for, for your daughter. Yeah, Michelle for your daughter. And then um, Susan for, for um, your friend. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Susan's friend, God, going through a rough season. And even right now, God, she'd feel the Holy Spirit coming upon her as we pray. Uh, Lord, we just ask for that, Lord, right now. Lord, just a breakthrough. We agree in prayer for that. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would um, give give her vision for her life, God, that's bigger than the season she's in uh, and draws her closer to you and, and, and all the factors in the situation, God, and let your spirit pour out. Lord, we pray for Courtney, Lord, uh, that you would help her right now with some paperwork, God, there in Canada. Um, bless her. Bless the nation of Canada, God. Pour your spirit out there. Uh, use her for your glory. Give her favor, Lord, um, in ways she didn't expect, God, so special that she would say, man, only God could have done this. I pray that for Courtney. I pray for Robbie Elliott's daughter, God, that you'd be with her. you touch her right where she's at. Let her feel your presence. Draw her closer to you, Lord. Accomplish your purpose in her life. Lord, I pray for everybody watching this, God, that you want, not only do you want to use them, but you need to use them, God. Like, you're you're looking for that opportunity, God. You're hungering. Um, you want us to hunger for you, but God, you're also hungering for us. You're hungering to use broken people to reach more broken people. That's what you want to do, God. Uh, we thank you for that. I pray that would would see that, God, they let you do that in their lives, Father. Uh, Lord, that they would let you use them uh, according to your purpose, Lord, and, and have your way in their lives. Requests that are unspoken on here, God. I pray for breakthrough in their lives, God. I pray, Holy Spirit, Lord, you just put a fresh fire inside of them, God. Uh, Lord, that you would anoint them in a way that is uh, um, above and beyond anything they ever expected, God. And uh, I pray, God, that, that, Lord, this week even you'd have, um, you'd use them, God, and give them opportunities to say, come and see. Come and see why I'm so excited about what God's doing in my life. And, Lord, if they're not in the place in their life where there is an excitement about what God is doing, I pray you take them to that place, God. You do something amazing in their lives so that they can walk around and say, come and see. Just come and see. I, don't, I can't explain it to you. You just got to come and see. We thank you for that, Lord. Fill up our churches this week uh, with people who need you, God, and touch them in a powerful way as we worship and praise you and draw draw close to you, Lord. You said you draw them in unto yourself. So do it in us, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. I'm about to go in and, and get my work on, um, knock out some projects. Excited about that. I hope you guys are having a great week uh, or gearing up for a great week. Stephanie, there you are. You're the bomb, Stephanie. You're awesome. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, uh, I, in Dallas, I assume you're still there. Hope things are, are going well over at Pastor Jason's church. I love Jason Kennedy. He's the man. You guys, Pete Dawson, you also have a great week. Uh, we'll do this again in the morning, 730. Um, and thank you guys for sharing, Melinda. Uh, I know there were a bunch who shared. Uh, feel free to share this after the fact, y'all, too. I'm about to... Um, click finish in just a second and it'll all be up there and um, and I'm going to go in hopefully this evening and catch up on comments and different things on Facebook I'm, uh, I've been you know Facebook's just tough for me lately it's been hard for me to get on and keep track of everything so um, anyway so tell hey Stephanie tell tell Jason Kennedy I said what's up when you see him next so I love that guy um, anyway all right well I love you guys have a good week uh, and remember you're, you're, when, when you feel the most broken, when you feel the most down and out, that's, man, God's like priming at the pump, like, man, I want to, I'm going to use this person. Um, you know, can anything good come from Nazareth? Can anything good come from your life? The answer is always yes. Always, 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 always.
in God. In God it is. So, uh, Angela Schaefer and everybody, 10 others who shared, appreciate that. Always appreciate the shares and the comments. Love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow morning.